This is bad. See how things survived. I'm going to be honest. I was really worried about the tomatoes, but this one looks like it held up. This pumpkin definitely took a beating. He might just cut down this one pumpkin and leave this one pumpkin with the one stalk. Our other tomato survived. This was the weaker tomato. This bean got pushed over. I can't believe the TP tripod thing stayed up. It looks like they took a real bad beating. My tomato survived. I was very concerned. We even talked about coming out here in the pouring rain to grab these and we decided what will be will be okay looks like most everything is still in one piece there's a lot of water on this so it's making it floppy oh look a pest yeah the storm is just now out of here those tree leaves look a little bit beat but as far as I can tell, I think most everything survived. She's a little bit topsy-turvy now, but... But yeah, I think everything came through. At least, nothing is dead anyway. Although that okra is bent over. I don't know how well it's going to do now. Which is amazing, because last night I would have sworn we would have lost everything. And, I mean, you can see the water come up through where I've walked but it actually did drain through the fabric which is awesome because we need more rain right now okay afternoon on the 24th after that second storm check this out Are these like potato seeds? Oh. There's like one down here, one right here, one right here. Is that its version of going to flower? I thought last year it flowered, but. Uh, no, I don't think it ever actually flowered. It kind of got like this and the, they died off and that's when we dumped them. I'm thinking this weekend we're gonna harvest us some taters. Well, there's the big kahuna. Yeah, like that one I actually pollinated myself. So, meaning I. Yeah. I didn't pollinate it myself, per se, but you know what I meant. You pollinated it yourself? Yes, I, I manually took the male flower and pollinated it. Okay, thanks for clarification. But yeah, this thing is kind of choking out, so I'm going to let that one pumpkin be the one I try to grow. This one is actually looking really good. Yeah, this, this tomato of yours is doing pretty good. It's not being choked out by all the other stuff. Like, I think we put it in that other pot with too much stuff. Yeah, well, the other pot also, it was the weaker one. I mean, it ain't doing bad. Uh -uh. Our deal is flowering. Oh. The umbral flowers. That are... These were droopier this morning. Yeah. One, so they... one limb broke off. Of, ah, of, stinky. Of a... Oh, did you eat your uh, green beans? Yes, they were very good. There's a handful more, but probably not enough to make it a meal. No. I like at least what I had. See, and I haven't seen anything on these yet. Like, yeah, they, they did some good climbing. Well, I mean, they are putting out flowers, I think. They're starting to put flowers on, so in theory, we'll soon have some. These look pitiful. Pull one. I mean, technically, that's a beet. It's a baby beet. And this kohlrabi is oh, split open. Yeah, I was gonna go ahead and pull that one up because it's split. Let's go ahead and get this puppy. Wow. It was still stuck to the... So yeah, we'll see. That's interesting. We'll get an idea of what it tastes like. This is the only normal zucchini we have. Yeah. Everything else is golden. 
That one's looking pretty good. See, like this one's looking pretty good. That one ain't looking bad. The nasturtium took a beating, but it's still nasturtiuming yeah. him. I mean, in fact, it's kind of good when it laid over it, freed up the lavender to get some light. I found a bug eating my uh, chive this morning and it, it wasn't one of the happy insects, so I killed it. The Melissa's doing well, even though I really don't know what the hell Melissa does. So, <laughs> I'm still waiting to see. I will say, at least the water like does drain away. Oh, I was gonna say, it looks like the fence, that corner yeah. needs a little. The fence took a beating. I, re I need to put an extra stake in here and help yep. stake this thing up in case we get any more of that cray cray wind. Yes. They're not as vibrant green as normal. And we know what that looks like because they did really well. Yeah, like year. last year's, it was just cray cray good. The but yeah, the peppermint's doing great. really doing great. Yeah, the way the wind was yesterday, I'm surprised anything survived. Saturday, May 25th or something like that. What, what, what are we doing? Oops. Wait, what did you do? I clipped your sucker off. You clipped my sucker? That sounded so dirty. What am I doing? I'm racing that. Uh, pretty much those big storms we had the other day. Today is uh, part two of them. You mean part three? Memorial Day, we're under a level two threat. Uh, we've got a zucchini golden that might be ready. I'm going to gamble, go ahead and cut one, and let's find out. Uh, Ooh, because I am hungry. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick cleanup out here. Like this one so, plant only had this one thing coming off of it anyway and it just broke off in the storm. Oh, what's funny is technically, I guess it puts out root runner so it could replant itself farther as it goes. Uh, did not know that. But yeah, but this frees up something, something else to plant here. This thing's kind of spiky, so I'm trying to be, you know, I don't want to injure myself. Whoa, it's got roots. Yep. Whoa. Wow, it's got roots. I mean, it's kind of a shame to yank it up, but you know. I know. Okay, so you're just gonna leave that one runner? I think that's the plan, is to leave the one runner. Yeah, like all these limbs like this that the wind basically broke off anyway. Uh, I can tell you what, these are bad bugs. Oh. And they're mating. Bad bug, bad, bad bug. bug. I can't believe we caught those two mating. <laughs> So in theory, this one pumpkin, we I think I pollinated that one by hand. And if it dies, then we just kill it. If it dies, it dies. Basically, you probably also want to look underneath all of these pumpkin leaves to make sure. And this was just an experiment for decoration. Yep. So... Just make sure when you pull each leaf, you look to see anything that needs to go away permanently. Yeah, like this thing has started to really grab oh, onto everything on too. To the potato. Uh-huh. Yes, next year we know. Ugh. Well, we always say we like to learn lessons. We've definitely learned. Oh, look, we got some purslane. <laughs> yeah, we got purslane everywhere. I love that stuff. So, yeah, it's see, these, these are nice and light. These drift over without any problems. And I thought the pumpkin might do the same thing. It just, it couldn't. Because the pumpkin It was too stiff and heavy, too... so. Yep. Because at this point, the way it's even growing into the ground, yeah, like it's going to just gonna, rob all of our nutrients yeah, and everything for else. The for the sweet potatoes and everything. Yeah. Dead bug, dead. <laughs> More purslane. Woo! On this that. one? Because the other one had it, right? Yep. Go ahead and trim the bottom leaves off. So this was originally the weakest tomato from the tomato challenge. And it's still not as awesome as the other one but it's still pretty good brian made a comment about only being able to pick one tomato i've watched that video again he never mentioned that we only get to pick one he said two he they both said two in their initial video so yep, we watched them both again hashtag tomato challenge 2024 i think y'all might be lying to us about that whole one thing wait white moth white moth bad i don't know so this is the part we don't know anything about like we don't know what's good and what's bad i don't have my phone to look either. somehow i think white moth bad I, I know, know there's there's some moth good, it some moth bad. It landed on the pumpkin leaves over here. Which means it's probably bad. It's not one of the good wasps, it's just a wasp. So in one week we went from harvesting dill to having flowers. So I would say so we, I think, yeah, we, we, harvested uh, we harvested at the, at the perfect right time. time. Wait, said that again. We harvested at the right time. Nailed it. 
I'm going to throw it some fertilizer, see if it'll help perk up. But um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and cut us off a zucchini and try it. Yeah, I just want to know whether that white moss is good or bad. Here. I may just have to kill it first and figure it out later. Well, you hold the camera. Go give me a flask back. water. Okay, internet, good or bad? These moths are the adult form, oh, the battery, uh, of small light green caterpillars that are frequently found on curcubits and other vegetables. The moths themselves are harmless, but the larvae can damage your crops to the point of being inedible. Cabbage moth. The first sign of cabbage moth infestations will be small white moth fluttering around in the garden. Kind of fell down the plant, now I don't see it anymore. Oh. So did it die or did it? Oh, there it is. Did you get the bad insect? I got the baddie. I hope it's a baddie because it's a dead baddie now anyway, one way or the other. All right, did we kill a good one or a bad one? Our first. <gasps> I'll do just this one. We'll leave the rest we'll that way we can see, see. see what it looks like. Yeah, I am hungry. I'm hungry too. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry for something that's <laughs> that long? Look, I got flowers. See, now you know I uh, said come look at your nasturtiums. They're like all bloomed overnight. Uh, you can go back in the house now. I'm going to show them something before they, uh, before we go though. I left a peace offering to the woodchuck gods, hoping that they'll leave my stuff alone. Watch this video over here to see how this whole journey started and all the other pitfalls and lessons learned that we have had so far.